Today we're going to learn about vertical or opposite angles. Vertical angles are the angles that are opposite to each other when two lines cross. Let's look at an example. Let's say line AB and line CD cross. When line AB and line CD crossed, they formed four angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4. So, let's find the vertical angles. Angle 1 and angle 3 are opposite to each other, so they are vertical angles. Angle 1 and angle 3. Also, angle 2 and angle 4 are opposite to each other. So they are vertical angles too. Angle 2 and angle 4. Now, let's look at another example. Sometimes the lines don't cross like this. They cross like this. Let's name this line, line A, B. And this line, line C, D. Now, when line AB and line CD crossed, they formed four angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4. Now, let's find the vertical angles. You might think that angle 4 and angle 3 are vertical angles. Angle 4 and angle 3. But they are not vertical angles because they are placed vertically. They are called adjacent angles. So, one and, so angle 1 and angle 2 are also adjacent angles. So they are not vertical angles. Now let's find the actual vertical angles. Angle 1 and angle 3 are opposite to each other. So they are vertical angles. Angle 1 and angle 3. Also, angle 2 and angle 4 are opposite to each other. So they are also vertical angles. Angle 2 and angle 4. Now, another property of vertical angles it is that the vertical angles have the same measure. Let's say that angle 2 measures 
99 degrees. And angle 4, so angle 4 automatically measures 99 degrees. Now, let's say that angle 1 measures 81 degrees. So, angle 3 automatically measures 81 degrees. Today we learned about vertical or opposite angles. Vertical angles are the angles that are opposite to each other when two lines cross. Like angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles and angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. Thank you for watching this video.